Another new development of Chinese drones has attracted the attention of experts and observers at the country's major international aviation salon in Zhuhai, which officially began today. Known as the FH-97, it looks like a clone of the XQ-58A Valkyrie in every sense. A stealthy and affordable unmanned aerial vehicle developed by American drone manufacturer Kratos. The Chinese FH-97, offered by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation KSC, appears to be intended for the same combat missions as the Valkyrie, which is being developed for the U.S. Air Force. The Air Force is focusing on unmanned aerial platforms, unmanned aerial vehicles that are inexpensive but durable enough to be used in high-risk situations that may exclude the use of more expensive assets. The FH-97 was presented in Zhuhai as a model at the KSC booth, one of several drones of different sizes sold by the company. Like the Valkyrie, the Chinese FH-97 features a stealthy trapezoidal fuselage, main wings with sharp sweep, V-shaped tail surfaces, and an air intake located above the fuselage. Even the weapon bay of the fuselage has the same stealthy serrated edges on its doors, although the Chinese drone is equipped with an electro-optical sensor in a hidden gold-plated housing with a nose window that looks similar to that of the F-35 and, to some extent, the J-20. It is also equipped with two small jet engines instead of one. This is not surprising, considering what we understand about the limitations of China's domestic jet engines. Although official promotional materials describe the FH-97 only as a medium and long-range UAV system, observers have also identified it as a reconnaissance strike UAV system, which seems accurate. It is offered as part of the new Feihong FH series of drones, which also includes the FH-95 multifunctional UAV with a pusher propeller, a conventional single-rotor unmanned helicopter, and a dual rotor for direct flight, as well as the FH. The FEH-97, apparently previously known as the CH-901, is a loitering missile. It appears to be heavily influenced by loitering munitions such as the Aerovironment Switchblade. Although we have yet to see the technical specifications of the FH-97, it is similar in size to the XQ-58A, which has a length of 30 feet, a wingspan of 27 feet, and a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds. While China has been accused in the past of copying Western designs, and the FH-97 does bear a striking resemblance to the Valkyrie, it is worth noting that India has also chosen a very similar design approach for its own unmanned combat aerial vehicle system, HAL, CATS. The new Chinese Feihong drones, although apparently not displayed in their final form, are part of an interesting array of other equipment in Zhuhai, including the J-16D electronic warfare jet, which was shown for the first time with jamming pods, as well as another KSC product, the CH-6 long-endurance twin-jet multi-purpose unmanned aerial vehicle, which was also unveiled in full scale. What makes the FH-97 particularly interesting is that it convincingly demonstrates that China is following the path currently taken by the U.S. Air Force, as well as increasingly other air forces, towards deploying stealthy, unmanned aerial vehicles optimized for operations in more hostile environments. Combat sorties, including strikes, electronic warfare, or reconnaissance, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, in contested airspace. Furthermore, it is expected that in combination with parallel developments in artificial intelligence, these same types of drones will operate as loyal wingmen for direct support of manned aircraft or as networked swarms for a range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat. It is widely known that China is already working on flight testing an AI brain similar to the U.S. Skyborg initiative. This testing could support future loyal wingman efforts, but AI is not actually necessary for this capability. A semi-autonomous control interface from the cockpit of a manned combat aircraft within line of sight of loyal wingman drones would provide a viable concept of operations and overall combat capability. With this in mind, China is also demonstrating its concept of a two-seat variant of the J-20 stealth fighter. The second seat would be well-suited for a mission dispatcher controlling an unmanned aerial vehicle and overseeing the overall tactical picture. Similar capabilities are being considered for two-seat American fighters equipped with widescreen displays, such as the F-15 EX. The demonstration of the FH-97 alongside the FH-901-CH-901 
also increases the likelihood that a larger unmanned aircraft could be designed to launch its own smaller drones, similar to the types of tests being conducted in the United States with the XQ-58A. The ability to launch air launch stores in addition to the types of munitions typically associated with strike drones would provide significantly greater versatility. These smaller drones could be used for kinetic strikes, remote reconnaissance gathering, or perhaps most importantly, for providing backup support for electronic warfare. Based on the model and drawings of the FH-97 that we have seen so far, it is not immediately clear how it is intended to be launched or lifted, although there appears to be room inside for a conventional wheeled undercarriage. However, as for the XQ-58A, its primary focus is on runway independence, taking off with a rocket and landing with a parachute which makes it more suitable for distributed operations in theaters of war where access to conventional runways cannot be guaranteed. Valkyrie has a revolutionary design that combines stealth technology and unmanned systems. It has small dimensions, which makes it difficult to detect by enemy radars. This allows Valkyrie to carry out deep penetration missions into enemy territory without risking the pilot's life. One of the key features of Valkyrie is its ability to operate as an unmanned fishing vehicle, working in conjunction with manned aircraft. It can perform various tasks such as reconnaissance, striking ground and air targets, providing electronic warfare, and even acting as a stealthy bomber. Valkyrie is equipped with advanced communication systems and sensors that allow it to gather reconnaissance information and transmit it in real time to the base. This provides operators with the ability to make informed decisions and adapt missions according to the changing battlefield conditions. Valkyrie represents an important step in the development of unmanned systems and demonstrates how modern technologies can change the future of combat aviation. Its maneuverability, stealth capabilities, and versatility make it an effective tool for performing various tasks in military aviation. Ahead of us are even greater achievements in the field of unmanned systems, and Valkyrie is becoming a symbol of the future of military aviation. Kratos also demonstrated a launch system model for the Valkyrie, which can be housed inside a standard transport container, which could also be an option for the Chinese drone. In any case, a combat drone with a jet engine, independent of a runway, would greatly increase the number of possible locations from which unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, could project their power during a major conflict and significantly complicate the enemy's defensive plans. It could also provide significant air combat capabilities over long distances, even from mainland China, without relying on vulnerable runways and other infrastructure. China has been showing special activity in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles for some time, producing drones of all types for both domestic use and export. With this in mind, it is quite possible that the FH-97 is aimed at foreign customers, as well as the People's Liberation Army, as Cassie notes the growing interest in this class of drones based on the continued interest in the XQ-58A program. Furthermore, the emergence of the FH-97 confirms that China, at least, is considering options presented by drones that are both stealthy and have a built-in low-cost feature from the start. This will be in addition to many traditional Chinese drone programs of higher-class stealth drones. First and foremost, a stealthy but vulnerable multi-purpose drone like the FH-97 would align with what we already know about China's efforts to rapidly expand its unmanned capabilities in all directions, including the development of concepts for manned-unmanned teaming and possibly manned air combat. Drones like the FH-97 also have the potential for rapidly increasing the mass of air combat by suppressing the enemy through the use of a significant number of drones, as well as payloads and tactics designed to suppress or disorient the enemy's air defenses. For example, a possible Chinese invasion of Taiwan is just one scenario in which drones of this type could have exceptional value. The Chinese inventory now boasts everything from long-endurance, medium-altitude, propeller-driven reconnaissance types to more advanced high-altitude, long-endurance, jet-powered reconnaissance drones, and even jet-powered high-speed reconnaissance drones. While intended for use, the FH-97 represents yet another piece of the Chinese unmanned aerial vehicle puzzle that could quickly become a top priority within China's increasingly complex ecosystem of military drones. Of course, could is a working term here, as we currently do not know how far FH-97 has progressed in its development.
Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.